Sometimes I think we forget just how good we have it here in Montana. People come from all over the world to hunt our big game species. But if you're asking me, the one that's easiest to find is also the hardest to hunt with the bow and arrow. At first glance, the wide open spaces that span our state can look as empty as the surface of the moon. But for the lucky archery hunters who have an antelope tag, that couldn't be further from the truth. Grab a good pair of binoculars and their silhouette can betray them pretty quickly against the backdrop of barbed wire and prickly pear. Just because you can pick them out though, don't start thinking you can easily pick them off. Getting close enough to make your archery tackle effective isn't a walk in the park. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are athletes. Products of a different time, the current antelope evolved to survive alongside and hopefully just a little out in front of predators like the now extinct American cheetah. Pronghorn can run at speeds easily over 35 miles an hour and uh, some reports have them going as fast as 60. Speed is the least of a hunter's worries though. Their eyesight has been compared to um, be a, roughly the equivalent of a human looking through an eight power binocular. Uh, their eyes are set to the side of their head and uh, what that gives them is a wide range of view. Uh, they can see about 300 degrees around without having to turn their head. So speed and sight make hunting antelope during archery season an uphill battle to say the least. But if you're looking for a challenge and willing to put in the miles, the pursuit can be rewarding. A lot of people really don't have the opportunity to really connect with the, the, kind of the wildlife experience that you have uh, when you're pursuing things at that time of the year. Even if it ends with an empty freezer, which is more than likely. Uh, one thing we know is that uh, the, number, the proportion of hunters that are successful in actually harvesting an antelope really an awful lot lower for archers than it is for rifle hunters. But you know what they say, it's called hunting not getting. Scanning the horizon in Montana, Andy Curtis, MTN News.